Country singer Darius Rucker has been arrested on drug charges. The Hootie and the Blowfish alum was arrested in Tennessee and charged with two counts of simple possession and casual exchange. As well as violation of registration law, the Williamson County Sheriff's Office confirmed to E! News. He was released February 1st on a $10,500 bond. Following the arrest, Rucker's lawyer said in a statement to E! News that the 57-year-old, quote, is fully cooperating with authorities related to misdemeanor charges. In 2013, Rucker spoke about his past experience with substances and shared why he had moved away from that lifestyle. He told the Los Angeles Times, doing drugs and drinking every night, I've done that. Trust me, I've done enough for everybody, and it's just not how I want to live anymore. Becoming a dad helped change his mindset on both his life and music. As he welcomed daughter Carolyn with Elizabeth Ann Phillips in 1995, he went on to welcome kids Daniela and Jack with wife Beth Leonard in the 2000s. He dropped his most recent album, Carolyn's Boy, in honor of his mother in October 2023. In December, he received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You know, uh, I said before that this is stuff you don't even dream about when you're from South Carolina, you know, struggling growing up and, and not, you know, just wanting to be a singer. That's all I ever wanted to be was a singer. But you never dream that this stuff is going to happen, you know. And I'm walking the streets the other day and I'm seeing Marilyn Monroe and Charlie Pride and I'm seeing, you know, Buddy Hackett, it, you know. And I'm just like, you know, these are names that have stuck in my mind because they were they were big stars and to be here right here at, uh, with a with a star at the rock hall of fame i said over there it's the biggest thing that's ever happened to me and there's so many people to thank first of all i, I want to thank you know those three guys back in columbia and charleston south carolina who got with me and we went out we fought the world and for a minute there we owned the world and that was a lot of fun and i thank those guys mark dean and sony i want to thank you know doc mcgee I want to thank Clarence Spalding, my manager, people that have managed me and taught me how to be a star, taught me how to be a success, taught me what to do, how to do it. Yeah, I, I want to, you know, everybody, Chris Parr, you know, Little Hauser, all those guys that people just, that are just in, in the corner for me. You know, I want to thank all my friends and my, and, and my band, you know, my band. We, we've been together 16 years. I've been in two bands in my life. Who did a bullshit in shit, my country band? And, you know, just, I want to thank those guys. Big time, I want to thank my kids in Bath and Cherry who raised my kids while I was out chasing my dream. You know, Carrie, Danny, and Jack are my heart and they're my soul and they're everything to me and everything I do is for them. And it's just been an amazing thing to be your father. That's as great as all this stuff is, it's not as cool as being your dad. And I really mean that. I mean, I love you guys so much. And all my crews. And everybody that works with me, I just want to say thank you. But I'll end with this. The people I want to thank the most and the people I want to really give my heart to are those people that go out and they buy your record or they go out and they stream your record or they pay money and they pay these outlandish fees from Ticketmaster to come see you play and they spend their hard-earned money and they want to see you. That is what it's all about in our business. And I want to thank everybody who comes out every year to see us play. I can't say thank you enough, and I still can't believe I have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. God bless you.